frankly, I can't believe the disgusting shit I've seen today, but this really takes the cake. I've seen this guy pop up in my recommended a number of times over the last couple days. Clearly he's, you know, abusing the way the algorithm works. And yet he's complaining about some kid who killed his cat for views. Yeah, okay, that's a really bad thing, killing your cat for views. Uh, I'm totally against that. But this guy... I gotta refrain from swearing just so that this video doesn't get removed from recommended, because people have got to pay attention to the fact that this guy is effectively advertising the idea that you can indeed do stuff like this and make money off it. Doing- th making this frickin' video is genuinely advertising the fact that you can get away with this sh Oh, great, I swore. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm just really pissed off that this kind of video exists. Let me just run through it- oh wait, I have to give him his ad revenue first. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Look at these ads, right? Ten minutes, hmm. Gee, I wonder, are you trying to use an animal abuse video to get money? And, and you talking about this guy making money? Do you realize you're promoting the exact same problem? You are making money off animal abuse. I don't give a shit. Like, I know what you're doing. I can't freaking believe, and he talks about how YouTube is this, like, corrupt platform that allows things like this to happen. This- this is the problem! Yeah, a guy killing cats, like, that's an extreme. But this- this is not helping. And- and he talks about how this freaking channel, Pelucho Entertainment, or whatever, I don't give a shit. I, at this point, I'm swearing. Because this is- I'm- I hate- I hate seeing stuff like this on YouTube. I really do. And I want to show clips of this video to show just how freaking insane this guy is. So, where he adopted two new kittens has roughly 3.6 million views right now. And what do you think you doing this video is going to do, huh? You're going to get it more views. So, and, and he talks about how, why are people clicking on this? Why are people clicking the like button? And sure, okay, the like button is odd, but... And then he says, giving it a dislike is a service to humankind. Actually, no. Not watching the video and reporting it is a service to humankind, you dip The rest of the same individuals oh, whoops. in society disliked his video 379,000 times, which is a thumbs up for society. But at the same time, why are people liking this guy's videos? But at the end of the day, the problem with this entire debacle is that there are a few implications as to what- Okay, also being a YouTuber who actually puts frickin' effort into their videos, it pains me to see jump cuts for a word that- what, what did he just say there? It's that? Why are people liking this guy's videos? But at the end of the day, the problem with this entire debacle is that there are a few- Why would you need to jump cut that? Why can't you just take another- t take another shot of the video? And, and just seeing the 10 minute mark is a continuous slap in the face. I can't believe this crap. Why is Review Tech USA not on this? I feel like him right now. How is nobody else talking about this? It, it, does anybody else give a sh? Does anybody else realize how much this guy's frickin' exploiting the YouTube system and then claiming other people are the problem? No. And I've seen these Soldier Boy phone videos, and yeah, they're getting a whole bunch of views. Oi, oi, oi. I don't even care about this. This is just crappy content. I don't care. But two implications as to what YouTube has done thus far, which is nothing. Throughout the last week or so, who Let's get some of that royalty-free sad violin music, eh? Why don't we? Who knows how much money this kid has made in ad revenue as a result of all the attention this channel has received. And according to Social Blade on the high range, he could have made anywhere from $24,000 to the low range of $2,000. Off of what, you might be asking? By uploading a video of him brutally killing his cat, beating the out of it and then uploading it to the internet and bragging about oh my god this fucking zoom what are you trying to accomplish oh my god what can those who saw pollution entertainment's videos take away from the situation i asked well i think it's quite simple all the little kids out there who want to be youtubers and want to upload videos to the internet and make that sweet sweet ad revenue it gives them ideas how do they blow up on the internet hell this kid uploaded a video of himself killing a cat. What if I kill a puppy, right? These are the problems with the precedent YouTube is establishing if it does nothing to interfere with. You are trying to take the image of good people on YouTube, but you are effectively doing the exact opposite. You are promoting this sh You have literally just promoted the idea that it is okay 
Uh, not that it's okay. He's not... I will give the benefit of the doubt he is not saying that it's okay. What the hell is this up next? Mink and dogs destroy 30 rats. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Whatever. Yeah, there's there's weird weird shit on YouTube, but this this really takes the cake. Milking abuse for ads. And and you say, "Oh, he's made 26k off abusing a kitten." Look at take a look at yourself in the mirror. You know that song Michael Jackson uh uh Man in the Mirror. Sorry, I'm I I don't listen to that one too much, but oi 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 really seeing reflections of that in you right now, and I think you better take a look at that reflection and make the change. With this kid's channel still existing, it needs to be taken down, or people will abuse- Actually, as like I just commented a minute ago, I'd argue you're advertising the fact that people can do this kind of shit to make money off it. I say you should take this video down. You should. You really should. Sensationalism to do stupid, sadistic, evil things like killing their pets and uploading it. It's weird. It's wrong. It's disgusting. Who needs wit, ingenuity, creativity, videography skills, editing skills, whatever it might be that allows one to succeed on this platform when you can just put your mobile phone in a tripod and record yourself throwing your cat into the living room and straight up killing it. If you... Oh, whoops, I scared my guinea pigs. I'm gonna stop doing that now because I like animals. Holy shit, dude. I can't frickin' believe it. You have 47,000 subscribers, alright? You had like 24,000 the last time I saw your channel, which was like, god forbid, three days ago. You're blowing up, I can tell, and it's because you're using the algorithm... You're, you're abusing it so much, you are... This is unscripted, right? I, I don't have... I haven't sat down and thought of all the twisted ways this individual is trying to make this video and advertise this idea. It's, it's wrong. You are creating a problem. You have just told a large audience of kids that they can beat the crap out of their animals. And make money off of it. I can't believe this shit. And I feel sick even bringing this idea into the minds of other people. But as far as I'm concerned, unless somebody like me steps up and takes the plate, you're just gonna keep doing this crap. You are no better than these other people. Okay, you know what, you're better than someone who's actually killing cats, but I'd say you're not far off the list because you're basically allowing more of this sort of stuff to happen by association. You're giving out those ideas. Who's, who said that kids are getting these ideas? Nobody said that kids are actually making those ideas. Nobody, no kids have probably even thought of that. You're the one coming up with this, and you're the one promoting it, and you are causing a goddamn problem. I don't give a shit. Fuck you, Tyler Oliveira.